I am proud of who I am, but not of who you were, Myron. My brother, you need to tell Rick. Why don't you just tell everyone that you were born a man? This is my private business. Whatever. Nicole, you wait. Nicole, wait! How long have you been here? You heard. You were born a boy. Yeah, I'm just finishing up here. I'll meet you at the office. All right. Wow, they say the clothes make the man. That suit is like your armor. Well, you can't run a company and work out here. Mm. You seem happy. Yeah, life's good. Revenue's up. And you have Maya. Definitely. Maya gets me. She knows how important honesty is in a relationship, no matter what the cost. So, yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't want this to happen. Why? Why? Because I warned you, Brooke. More than once. Now look what you made me do. Mom. Mom! You're someplace else. Some dark, scary place in your mind which always alarms me. What's up? See, this is exactly why people shouldn't eavesdrop. You know, they get half the story right. It's probably why it's telling Quinn right now. Maybe it's for the best. Oh, and how would that work out, huh? Why it goes to Quinn and tells her that I still have feelings for you? She's either destroyed or she goes ballistic. <laughs> Quinn breaks up with you and you're a lot better off. I think we're gonna have to agree to disagree on that. I, I gotta get going, I gotta go plead my case. I don't wanna lose her. I'd wish you luck, but I don't. Quinn is toxic. Yeah, well, so am I. Maybe that's where we work. Nervous when you get all quiet. It's usually the calm before the storm. I got nothing to say. I just gave you some pretty shocking news. What's so shocking about it? I mean, Deacon's been gaga over Brooke for years. Are you sure about what you heard him say? Yes. He told her that it was making him nuts. That he could finally have another chance with her if he wasn't engaged to you. Huh. Was it a mistake telling you? No. No, honey. Thank you. You know, I, I, I appreciate you looking out for me. OK, because I never trusted the guy. I know. I know. Maybe your instincts were right. I guess we'll see. But what are you going to do? I'm going to wait here for my fiance, get to the bottom of Deacon's feelings for Brooke, and take it from there. So the new collection looks good? Yes. Mom? 
Hi. Great to see you. Join us. You're a nice surprise. Well, I had a meeting in the neighborhood, and I thought I'd check up on Rick. And I was just about to tell Aunt Katie that I'm going to start trying to work out my differences with Caroline. We've talked a little, and we've made some progress since she's been in New York. Interesting. I heard Nicole, heard her say your name is Myron. My name is Maya. Yeah. She was joking then, right? You know, I was outside, so then it was just a big joke. No, no, Carter. This is crazy, Maya. This is, this is crazy. We've been involved, right? I would have known. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. It's good to see you here. Have a good day. Try not to burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of you around here. Yeah, well, you don't need your mother looking over your shoulder. You've been running the company with a lot of focus, a lot of drive. Mom, I want you to know that your opinion, it's, it's important to me and it's welcomed. Well, now that you bring that up, uh, yes, I do have an opinion about a certain decision that you made recently. Okay, let's have it. Quinn, how could you rehire Quinn? You know that she's absolutely insane. It's okay, Wyatt, you can go. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. What are you afraid of, that I'm gonna throw myself off the roof? Don't worry, I won't. I'm going to sit here and wait for Deacon so we can have some straight talk. Should I be worried about him? I'm not going to do anything to myself or anyone else. Including Brooke? Would you stop? Would you just answer the question? Well, I guess you don't have to be a genius. He told you. Yep. You just couldn't let me handle my own business, could you? No, I didn't trust that you would. See, that's the thing, Deacon. I don't trust you. So if I see you aiming heartbreak at my mother, well, yeah, I'm going to tell her. Well, kid, I got to respect that. I mean, I don't know what White said to you. I don't know this what he may have misinterpreted. Really, it doesn't require a long-winded explanation. Is something rekindling between you and Brooke? Yes or no? Come on, you must have a feel for my chances. I just take the shots. Photographer with no opinion? You look good, you move well. I'd love to work with you, but it's not my call. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Is that the type you're looking for? Open search, not limited to type. Oh, then you won't mind adding my name to that list. We've gone over this. You get Maya or Rick to give me the okay, and I'm happy to. Well, it'll be coming any minute now. I spoke with my sister, and Maya will support me all the way. I don't understand. Can you hear me with an open mind? I never identified as a boy. My first clues were that I liked pretty dresses and mama's heels. She said it was a phase I would outgrow and my dad pretended it wasn't happening. He wanted a boy and by God, he got one. Except I could never be that. I was different, but I didn't know what made me different. And one day I was visiting a little girl, Valerie, down the street. And she brought out her dolls and asked if I wanted to play. And I don't know if it was her innocence or what, but she saw me. She accepted me. And for the first time, I could be me without being ashamed or trying to hide. And eventually, I realized that in my heart, in the core of my being, I am a woman. And I needed my outside to reflect that. Surgery? 
Plural. L.A.? When I was with Jesse. He knew? He saw me through it. You said you had a daughter. It was Jesse's biological daughter, but I was her mother in every sense of the word. You kept this from me the whole time? We were slavery together! It didn't occur to you that you should have told me that! You can't. You can't rehire Quinn. It's a good business decision. How? How is that good for Forrester being associated with some lunatic? We didn't let Quinn go because her pieces weren't selling. The consumer doesn't care if she's a little wacky. They just miss her jewelry. I thought Ivy's line was doing just fine. Ivy's good, but she doesn't have Quinn's flair, the, the, the eye of experience, the, the ability to anticipate trends. So we just overlooked the fact that Quinn is completely out of her mind. Nobody's perfect. And dangerous. Well, maybe not so much anymore. She seems to have settled a bit since she's been with Deacon. Oh, that's not true. She's more volatile and unpredictable as ever. Well, that's why I have Wyatt to run interference. Honey, he can only do so much. Working with Quinn is like saying, come in trouble, take a seat. You will regret it. Wyatt, maybe it's time that you split. I'd rather stay and hear your answer. Why, so you can evaluate it for truth? Someone has to. I appreciate your caring. But I can handle my own personal life. Go ahead. Call me if you need me. Trusted you. I know. I admitted myself to you more than I have any other man. Said that's what you wanted. That is what I want. So has Brooke become a problem? Quinn, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've, I've always had feelings for her, but, but I'm here because You know what? This is really simple. I'm not interested in being second choice. Not yours, not anyone else's. I'm pretty sure that Mai's gonna give me the okay to shoot you. No doubt, she's my sister. Doesn't mean she'll endorse you. Modeling is Maya's territory. You may not know this about Maya, but she's a big believer in being your authentic self. I help her do that, she helps me, everybody's happy. You are absolutely right. I should have told you. Why didn't you? Honestly, I don't walk around thinking about explaining that I'm a woman. It's who I am. That's bull. We were getting married, and this whole time you're this other person. Our, our whole relationship was a lie. And would I stay with you if you told me? Who the hell knows? I never got to decide. How is that fair? I should have told you. What about Rick? You tell him, does he know? No, but I will. But until I do, you have to promise me that you will not say anything to anyone. You know, they're trying to do this relationship differently. Keep it honest, above board. Not always that easy. You know, I didn't ask you a difficult question. Do you have feelings for Brooke or not? I love you, Quinn. Mm. Don't you get that? No, no, see, that's, that's not an answer. I guess signals tend to get mixed when it comes to Brooke. You're over there all the time, helping her out, except she hates me. She's trying to turn you against me. She forbids you from marrying me. She is me. the mother of my daughter. We have history together, and yes, I care about her. She's always gonna have a place in my life. But not your place. 
She's not the woman that I, I confide in, the one that I cannot wait to come home to, and the one that I want to marry. And by the way, why haven't we done that yet? Why don't you get your calendar right now and let's pick a date, let's do this, because I don't want to wait any longer. I understand your concern about Quinn, but I'm going to keep my eye on her. Honey. You know, the real takeaway here, you're not thrilled about Caroline. Putting it mildly, I don't trust her anymore after she discarded you. Yeah, well, it's no news. I feel the same way. But even though our marriage didn't work, we're still close. And it'd be a shame if that didn't count for anything. You're very forgiving. Not really. I hold on to my pain like it's some sort of prize that I won. Mom, it was the lies. It was the lies that I couldn't deal with. Well, you're with Maya now. Somebody tells you the truth. Yeah, whether I want to hear it or not. Look, I'd love to stay and chat longer, but I really do have to get back. You want to know one of the reasons that I never told you? This. What's happening right now. It is so hard to make someone who has never had to question their identity understand what I went through. The changes that I had to go through to become my true self. Hmm. Truth? You want to talk truth? Okay. You say you're not ashamed of who you are. I'm not. But you hide it. And that was a mistake. But I was so insecure and I thought that you wouldn't love me. And I've learned from that now. Not if you're repeating it. I, I will tell Rick. I, I will. When and if he proposes. I proposed to you. So that's not good enough, Maya. I had a hard time buying you and Rick as a couple, and he is not my favorite person, but he deserves to know who you are. And he will. But this is not yours to tell, Carter. It is my life. It's his life, too, just like it was mine. He has a right to know what he's into. He has a right to know who he's with. Me! Maya! The same woman he has always known! Keep telling yourself that. But we know how Rick feels about secrets, and they don't come bigger than this. Carter, please, please. No, 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 you played me for a fool. I won't watch you do the same thing to Rick. I cannot let you, you do this! You can't stop me! What's going on? Maya? I was coming to find you. Yeah, well, you don't have to anymore. Carter, please. I'm single. I've got no kids. My first loyalty is Forrester Creations and acting in the best interest for this company and you as CEO. And down the line, when the truth comes out, and it will, I don't want to be in the middle of some you should have told me mess. What truth? You and I have a lot in common, dude. You won't believe what it is. <laughs>